Tokyo Cowboy. As with any review, this may contain spoilers. I enjoyed the movie. This is a fish out of water story. The story follows Hideki who works for a corporation that buys acids that they could turn around and make them profitable. He's a salesman of sorts and is great at what he does. But what makes him great at his job also makes him lack in other aspects of his life. He's too focused on numbers and he fails to connect with people. Not only does he fail to connect with those from the companies he's trying to turn around, but he fails to connect with his fiance of several years. He fails to pay attention to her needs and slowly destroys his relationship without even realizing it. One day during a company meeting, one of the assets, a Montana cattle ranch, is talked about with the intent to sell the ranch. Hideki believes he has a solution to make the ranch profitable and that's to turn it into a Japanese Wagyu farm. He hires a Japanese beef consultant and gets approval to start the turnaround. His fiance, who is also his boss at the company, thinks this is a bad idea and could get Hideki fired if the transformation doesn't go well. Hideki is confident, but as soon as he meets with the head person of the ranch and its employees, he is told that the ranch is not suitable for Japanese Wagyu since that specific cow is fed with crops that cannot be grown in the soil there. It wouldn't be profitable to constantly ship the required food to the ranch. Even with everything that he has been told, Hideki is confident or better yet has no choice but to find a solution to this problem. As I mentioned earlier, this is a fish out of water story but also a story of self-discovery. We are shown charming and humorous scenes of Hideki trying to win over the ranch by acclimating to his surroundings which he thinks may help to sell them on his idea. He dresses like a cowboy, learns to ride horses, and begins to help around the ranch. The longer Hideki stays at the ranch, the more he learns about himself and begins to learn what he wants for his life. He realizes his mistakes he's made with his fiance and hopes it's not too late to repair the damage he's made. The ending is not my favorite. At the same time, I don't have an issue with the ending. I would have preferred if the story continued. While he may seem like a changed man, it's not the easiest thing to completely change in that amount of time. I wanted the story to continue to see if he implemented what he learned in his life and kept his promise to his fiance. Overall, the movie is good and it may be worth watching. If you stuck around this long, why not give the video a like, try it out, see if it works, subscribe, check out my other videos, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the film. See you in the next review.